OK, welcome back. Once you've got WordPress installed from Control Panel, and to be honest, if your host doesn't offer that kind of installation with Fantastico, Softacoolis, or whatever, in, in other words, if they leave you to your own devices and have to FTP, either you're geeky enough to do that or you need a new host. Um, it's as simple as that. So, you'll then come to the default WordPress login screen. So you've got your username and the password. Click login. Uh, tick remember me. Click login. If you're, in, if you're on Firefox, you'll offer to remember the password. And as I probably mentioned in one of the previous videos, depending on which where I took you to, you've probably got updates to do because there almost always are. Simple as ticking the thing and saying update plugins, update themes because they seem to change, <coughs> and then upgrading to the latest version of WordPress, it really is just click what you need to do. You don't have to do that all the time, but if it happens, it happens. Then, it's the process of, you'll get that welcome screen, great, don't really care. The dashboard, we're going to work our way down the left hand side of the different things you need to change on the dashboard. It will give you that sort of hint thing, but I tend to just go down. So, posts. We've done the updates bit. Posts. Hello world. We'll show you what that looks like. It really is just... you got that. This is your first post. Edit or delete it. We're going to delete it. And the comment will actually automatically get deleted. So, what we're going to do... Click on the thing that says trash. There's no are you sure, but if you went back to trash, if you if you got it wrong, you can restore or delete permanently. Uh, so if you press refresh there, you see that it says no post found. That's fine. That's what you wanted. So we now have that was trash, but in the regular posts, no post found, which is what you want. Add new is where you'll add new posts later, but we'll do that later. We're just going to work our way down. Categories. Up to you. The default on WordPress is uncategorized, and it's probably best to edit that and change it to whatever your topic is. So, whatever your topic is, especially if you don't press enter before you're ready. Update. And so that will then mean that the default, and you change the thing that says slug as well. It's not a keep that all as one word, but it is, as it says, it's a URL friendly version of the name. Normally, lowercase contains only letters, numbers, and hyphens. That'll make it look a little bit prettier. Tags you don't want to use at the moment, so that doesn't matter. Media you you use later, but that doesn't happen. Links. Now, if HostGator had installed a an up-to-date version of WordPress, version version 3.5, these wouldn't appear. But if, for whatever reason, your host is a little bit sluggish, as HostGator was here, go into Links, select All, tick All, select Delete, click Apply, and that will get rid of them. But chances are if it's a brand new installation, you actually won't even have that, so don't panic if you haven't. That's fine. It's just one of these WordPress change from version 3.5. It's no longer in there by default. So, But if you're upgrading from a previous version, then it will be there and you just get rid of them, because they're just ones you don't want. Pages. It'll give you a sample page. Again, you can view that. It just says this is a sample page get rid of that because you don't want it. Comments. There won't be any comments at the moment. Appearance will come into another video. Plugins will come into another video. Users at the moment. It'll just be you, my username, whatever you decided. It's my personal email address. Don't use that. I probably won't reply. You can add new users but you probably won't unless there's several of you keep keeping the blog up to date. Your profile, I tend to leave everything in there as default. It's very rare I'll change anything. 
tools we we're not going to use at the moment, settings, we're going to cover in another video as well, because this one's getting a bit long. So that's the first things you're going to do on WordPress. Delete the default post. If it gives you links, it probably won't. Delete those. Delete any default pages. That will give you a nice clean installation with everything basically not found. That's exactly what you want. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.